Yeah, it's most likely a Quinn mid lane here. See what King goes back to. And he's going to take what Fabi was saying. It's going to be that Azir in the mid lane. Yeah, Azir locked okay. in, rounds out the composition for Apex. It He's going to see Kez over the wall. Blue buff seems to be the target. No smite for either of them. Flash used. Kez has got nowhere to go. This could be first blood. The auto attack is picked up. Keen gets it. That's first blood. Now Alex is in a bad spot to be. Chris just used his hook. Looks yes. like Alex is going to get out. Coming around the corner. Uh, might be able to get on the flares. Chris gets hooked and knocked up. He's got his flash available, but he's chunked so low. Oh, and gets out. Red buff is going to burn away for a little bit more on top of it. You know, I'm going to go need some large rod. I'm going to start picking up this other item first. Let's see what he's able to accomplish with that Nashers when he gets that CDR. Oh, Chris. Flares. Both jugglers are exactly coming. as planned. He flashes, but Flares is still able to follow. Just a step faster is Kez, but Chris wants this fight. Here's Shrimp with double buff. Oh, not able to get the knockup in mid pounce. Here comes Alex. It's roaming up there. Shrimp, that's the face of regret. Flashes forward. Will he be able to make it to this turn in time? Yep, looks Ooh, like he is. He's going to be okay. This gives Keen some time in the mid lane, but of course, it's Quinn. Quinn gets back so quickly. It's uh, Shakespeare. Oh, this has happily a gank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an actual <laughs> gank. There's no chance about it. Chris running for the hills, but that hills have a turret. Flares looks like he follows them through, takes just a few too many turret hits. To the sequel to the hills have eyes. The hills have turrets. <laughs> All over, and of course, Callista. Another reason that she's kind of banned is you never get to really smite and steal contest it. But I guess Shrimp does get it at the 75 mark yeah. with his own. Dragon 1 for Apex and oh, recall terminated. Bottom tier 1 did go down in the meanwhile. It was Alex. Yeah, and they're now looking to dive this Nautilus. He doesn't stand too much of a chance, but Flares takes a few too many turret hits. Here comes Shrimp. There's nothing he can really do about that. Alex trying to defend his mid lane, but here come three members of Apex. With yeah. the previous damage that Keen has done, the turret. Oh, will go down, but Keen's too far Watch forward. Out. Oh no, he goes too far, gets away from the lantern and knocked up. He's still alive though, somehow. Finally, he's gonna end up going down, but police managed to kill Alex on the side. Oku oh. joins the fight and gets knocked up. They've managed to kill police, and now they're continuing to kite this out. Oku running for his life, and he's gonna be chased and caught by a special on the side. Another kill for Shrimp, and Apex turn it around. In terms of pulling off drift moves, where you actually won't stop your drift until you make contact with your, or until the Q stops. Keen continuing to farm it up in the mid lane. Oh, Alex looks for some action, and Keen just hops the wall nice and quick. But there's the rest of TDK. There goes the wall. Shrimp tries to buy some time. They get one kill. The hook on the far side, and Alex will get it with the red buff. Depth charge locks him down. He doesn't have hook quite yet, but it's special does. Alex is caught and dies to police. That's one for two. Here comes Chris. If they could try to collapse on the flares, they might look to convert this into a kill. There goes the teleport. It's Alex joining the fight now. He's turning it around. There goes some damage, but Chris Chris and Shrimp are so tanky. Alex is barely doing a thing. There's a depth charge. He finds the hook by threading the needle. Alex is caught and chunked to half. And Shrimp is continuing to fight forward with the rest of them. Glacial Fissure, Fissure doesn't do anything but disengage. And TDK were able to get around and actually get there a little bit earlier than Apex. Dragon number three, Flares, is going to match Chris in that bottom lane. Yeah, He's running as quick as he can, but Flares is literally body blocking him. Alex got caught on the way out, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Forced to flash. Oh, oh, the soldier catches him. Keen drops Alex. Oh, the flash there from Alex. He's caught and really close to the Baron. So that's going to be Apex trying to stack up Callista Spears in this. Doing a good job so far. Culling is going to find a special. He's going to tank it to buy time for the rest of his team. Chris has teleport. He gets pulled in as police whoa, whoa, the what? fight and gets knocked up. He's way too far forward. Flash dodges some of the initial damage, but Flares locks him down. Now, Baron has been secured by Apex, but they don't have their AD carry. They're running for their lives, but they're still going to lose another member. That was really weird. They're just chasing down Chris now. Oh, he's buying some time, Flares though. outside. Yeah, Flares will finally be able to lock him down long enough for OQ to get that kill. Kez is actually the one who secures it, but that's Baron for two. It just looks like Apex are trying to bait. See what happens. Hook comes out. Chris TP in the middle of the lane. Oh, he's coming to flank from the far side. Flares looks to be the target. They're calling their shots, and they put them down. That's one member going down, and the hook finds Trance. OQ doesn't get away. Kez is the one who eats it as Apex charge forward relentlessly. That's another kill. 
as Police is going to drop Kez. Trance on the far side will go down. That's a double kill for Police. And they just can't get through the tanks here on TDK side, so Apex are able to just roll through them. Three for zero, and now they're just going to push down the base. 31 minutes in, they don't even need Dragon 4 at this point. Oh, Chris needs to bring turret aggro. He's taking so much damage, but I guess it's not going to count in the end as the inhibitor turret goes down and the inhibitor. It's five feet two for another 20 seconds. They've got one minion wave. This is a greedy finish, but if Apex could do it, it'll put them back in the lead. Here comes Alex. He's trying to do some damage. The minions have been cleared, but they're trying to burn through the health of this last Nexus turret. Five seconds left on flares, but the turret has gone down. Alex can't do enough as Keen pulls it back in with the Azir slide. There it goes. They're on the Nexus. 5v1 as Flares is back up, but the Nexus goes down, and Apex are back in the lead.